Arsenal host Southampton on Tuesday for one of the Premier League highlight matches. Uh, last two meetings have been at Southampton, uh, which the Saints have won both times, with Arsenal actually failing to score. Arsenal are the favourites now, though, on their turf. Turf, and I think uh, this is both a must win and a revenge match for the Gunners. I think they'll be gunning for that win, pardon the pun. What do you think, Nigel? Well, I think they will. I think the bitter disappointment last weekend uh, against Chelsea was evident to see. I mean, Arsenal weren't at the races. Uh, the crowd, the, you know, that, 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 re that reverse fixture at St Mary's was an embarrassment for Arsenal. You said they did win, but they didn't turn up, and, and Southampton were absolutely fantastic on that day. Uh, but at home at the Emirates, they always seem to win Arsenal. They always seem to beat teams around the mid-table or bottom of the table. They never do it convincingly, though. They always struggle a little bit to find their stride. Uh, and even though they're at the top of the table, the Emirates is still a funny place to go. The crowd expect them to be a lot better than what they are, despite them being in touching distance of winning a Premier League crowd again. So I think Arsenal will just edge this. What, you know, Are they any value at the short price to win? No, this is a Southampton side. They went to Manchester United last time out and won. I don't, you know, I wouldn't be rushing to bat them just to win. So we've got to look at other angles. Mm -hmm. I think there's a few other angles to have, but uh, Arsenal will be coming for revenge. I also think it's a positive for Arsenal not having Murtisacker in the side. I think he's a weak link in the back. I think he's, you know, he's paceless. I, I don't think he's in the player he was. And I think it's a good thing to have Gabriel Koscielny now. He's obviously got a three-match suspension because the red card that gave Chelsea the three points. So. I think that's a decision that's been taken away from Venn because a lot of Arsenal fans wanted Mertesacker and dropped. He doesn't have to drop him now. He can't, he's not eligible. And I think Arsenal will be stronger defensively because of that. And I think they will have enough quality. But this isn't going to be very, very convincing. I can see the, the Emirates crowd being in for a nervy afternoon. But I think Arsenal will just have enough quality and just nick this by the odd goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is, again, a, it's a sort of a must win if they do want to win that Premier League title. They're priced 1.8 there to win the match. I personally think that's enough value as a straight bet. Um, but I think also you could combine it as well with something like the under 3.5 goals because obviously Everton, uh, Arsenal sorry, does have that sort of st that tight defence there. You know, I think it is going to be quite a cagey match. You combine that with, say, the under 3.5 goals, you know, that comes in around so they take 2.3 there. I think that's a good bet. That is a good bet. I mean, like I said, their record against the mid-table teams in the Premier League and the bottom half teams in the Premier League is exceptional. They don't, they don't lose them. And they usually win to nil. And that's the angle I'm coming on. We're coming on from very similar uh, sort of angles. But I, I'm looking at the win to nil market. I like Arsenal to win this to nil. I also think it may be a draw at half-time, Arsenal full-time, which is always a profitable bet whenever you bet Arsenal. But my bet, my best bet in this game is Arsenal just to win to nil. We know Southampton did win with their first shot on target, Charlie Austin's first shot in Southampton Colours with his first header in Southampton Colours. But I think Arsenal will just edge this and I think the best angle is Arsenal to win to nil. I agree with you, the 1.8 probably is a decent price, but I think if you're back in that price, you will be in for an, uh, a very nervy afternoon. I think it will get bigger in running. Arsenal won't score early, but they will score and I'm not quite convinced that Southampton will. So I'm going to go for Arsenal to win to nil. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, Arsenal to a nil. I think it was. It's probably a safer bet though to play the Arsenal clean sheet. So therefore, if it's a nil nil, then you get your money. If it's a nil nil and you bet Arsenal to win to nil, then you're not. You know, you do have to bear in mind obviously that Arsenal haven't scored in their last two matches um, against both Stoke and Chelsea. Um, so I'm. I don't know. I, I really like the under in this match. That's for sure. Could be a nil-nil yeah. draw, could be one-nil to um, Arsenal there. You wouldn't prefer to just play like clean sheets instead? Well, the clean sheet on Arsenal have only had two nil-nils all season. I mean, they've played what, over 40 games in all different, 30 odd games in all different competitions. So for Arsenal to win a nil-nil, it should be around about 15 to one shot. I do like the unders. I just don't think Southampton will score. I do think Arsenal have enough quality. They've got Alexis Sanchez coming back to fitness. They've got some good key players coming back. They will break them down. Their record at home against Southampton is phenomenal. I think they sustain that record at home. And you said at the intro, Natalie, it's all about revenge. Arsenal yeah. will get revenge and they'll get revenge for a win to nil. All right, then. Wonderful, Nigel Seeley. Thank you for joining us.